Well, eventually, here I am, back in the Lake District. It's uh, It's been a while, February I think, but um, restrictions have been lifting steadily over the last few weeks, so I thought it was about time I got back out and stretched my legs. Today I'm um, right up in the northwest corner of the Lake District. Behind you now, what I'm looking at is the uh, western flank of Skador. I'm at the base of uh, Binzi, one of the smaller Wainwrights, which I thought was possibly a, a good starting point uh, for this year's achievements. So I've just left the car down by the road there, gonna head up the hill. It's a bit of a grey day, but uh, it's just nice to be back out on the fells. Let's go. So first things first, I am substantially less fit than I was at this time last year. Um, I wintered well and then normally when I would have been starting to get back into shape, March time of course we were put into lockdown and although I was going for walks on a daily basis, um, walking on the flat and walking up hills is something completely different. So if at any point in the video I seem to sound a bit out of breath and generally knackered, it's probably because I am. The sun's trying to get out there, which was nice, a bit warmth. Not that it's particularly cold. Um, I was just thinking on the way up, what sort of name is, is Binzi for a hill? Binzi. There's, there's no romance, is there like uh, Helvellyn or Blencathra? Binzi. Binzi. I don't know. Of course, it's it's a strange um, hill from the point of view of, of the Lake District, and it's it's way out on the on the northwest corner, sort of detached really from the main the main group. And instead of being a sort of proud firstborn son of a hill, it's a sort of back street illegitimate sprog type of a hill. But it's a way in right, and if Alfred decided to climb the hill and put it in one of his books, then I'll quite happily follow suit. Uh, I've got a nice view from here over Skidore, Bassenthwaite Lake and I'm sure once we get to the top uh, the view will be even nicer. It's not a particularly high way in right and uh, has the advantage that the road where I parked is already uh, some distance above sea level so not a massive climb today but you know it's first one of the year, gonna break myself in gently. So I think I've probably wasted enough time sitting on this rock and getting my breath back. So, pack up, carry on to the top. So there we are, first win right of the year, way. Ah, the peace and tranquility of it, absolutely stunning. Still there, uh, still confess to be completely unfit. So it's a uh, note to self, get on a diet when I get home. Don't need to be lugging those extra pounds up and down a hill. If a small hill like Binzi does this to me, God knows what the higher ones are going to do. So, get into shape, first order of the day. But, here we are. See all the way over the Solway Firth in that direction into Scotland. 
I have a sea behind me there. It's good old Bassy Clay Lake. The Northwest Fells. All laid out in that direction. I think I'll get the camera set up. Get a few snaps, nothing. It's gonna be brilliant given the light and the and the, the, the low cloud, but I've walked up this high, I might as well try and get a couple of snaps. See how it turn out. So I've just um, just met a lovely guy uh, called Jim there uh, at the top of uh, Binsey here, and we've just had a lovely chat uh, about you know life in general, lockdown, climbing, walking, all sorts of things. Just chewing the fat. We had a nice chat, and it was nice to meet him. And uh, it it just shows you even you can come all the way out here. Um, in the middle of nowhere and meet someone and have a, a nice chat which is, isn't something I, I often get the chance to do on the top of a mountain but um, if you see this gym it was nice to meet you um, and hopefully when I've done another 60 Wayne rides or so we might bump into each other again so I think it's uh, time to head down the hill now it's uh, it's strange being back amongst the fells quite, quite emotional in, in some ways um, I'm definitely glad I uh, made a decision to come here today and um, yeah, the start of many more for this year. It's amazing how a little bit of sunlight can make a massive difference to the Lakeland Fells. It just brings them alive, gives them gives them a sense of sense of life, sense of, of colour. I mean, don't get me wrong, the place is beautiful at any time, but just dapple those fells with a bit of sunlight. Ah, 